They hide nice shit in Pomona, huh? They don't tell blacks or Mexicans about this place. Shut the derby. Shut, shut the fuck up. <laughs> What'd you say, motherfucker? No, nah, man, we just said, you know. Derby? Shh. Fucking horse racing. You know what they didn't do? They didn't do child fucking racing. <laughs> At kindergartens, where you bet on your kid. What do you think? <laughs> All right, mijo, rent's due. Run your ass off. And make it like weight levels. What do you think? You know what I'm saying? Like your kid's like fucking five, but he weighs like 80 pounds. Okay, he's 70 to 80 pounds. Put little numbers on him and shit for tuition. What the fuck? I'm talking real right now. You know what I'm saying? Mijo, we need our cell phone paid. Run your ass off, all right? The fat division will have McDonald's at the finish line. If you come in second, you don't get no toy. What the fuck? I'm a realist, fuckers. If you don't like what I say, then get the fuck out, all right? I'm barely getting paid right now. I think I paid my fucking, my direct TV bill in like 1998 right now. So if you laugh, I don't care, but this is, people pay $26 to hear this shit. Y'all got a discount. I'll be in Chicago next weekend when the Mexicans over there are fucking, they're cold. Fucking dumbass Mexicans moved to Chicago, huh? What the fuck? We got LA locked, bitch, come over here, shit. Fucking LA is the best city in the fucking planet. We can do whatever the fuck we want, huh? We could be skiing at 11 and be at the beach at 2. Who else could say that shit? That's why Armenians are buying our houses up. Hey, bro, bro, we buy houses in 40 years. Mexicans pay. We don't care. Are there Armenians here? It's a fucking yeah, a kind of a casino. No, I like Armenians. The only problem I have with Armenians, they don't know how to curse. You ever heard Armenian curse? They put words together that don't belong. You liquor of the bitch of mother. He's a liquor of bitch of the mother of the bitch. Liquor of pussy of bitch. I'm sorry, Armenians. I'm, we're filming this tonight, so I'm gonna let you know. Armenians, Middle Easterns, you gotta learn how to curse. Every good American can curse. Right? Black people are the best at it. You ever hear them? No, punk ass bitch, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. You're like, is Armenians. Well, you're the punk of the yeah, yeah, of the bitch. <laughs> Learn how to curse. Black people curse the best. Black people should teach classes <laughs> to Middle Easterns how to curse. Oh, <laughs> fuck yeah, oh, yeah. Samuel Jackson is the best cursor on the planet. You ever see Pulp Fiction? He's like, I'm a shit. I'm a mushroom blower motherfucker, motherfucker. Did he just say motherfucker twice together in a sentence? And it made sense? I'm a mushroom cloud blower motherfucker, motherfucker. I'm watching going, yeah, that's right. Lick of the bitch of the mother of bitch. Of the dick of the camel. Huh? That's what they say all the time after. You liquor of the bitch of the camel of dick of bitch of liquor, huh? Like they didn't even know what they said, huh? Huh? <laughs> Fucking love every race. Okay, I, I don't have a racist bone in my body. Remember, it, you know what's funny? If people don't understand, all right? I break it down until it's broke, okay? Look it. Races in this country are like family members. They're gonna annoy you, but they're fucking there. You can't hate them, right? Your fucking cousin that shows up late and he's supposed to bring the fucking turkey at Thanksgiving. Why'd you volunteer that shit, dick? Bring a fucking carrot cake at the end. Now we can't have turkey because you're fucking late because you're arguing with your ex. Right? Fuck, I love being Mexican. It's fucking fun. Like I was with somebody else last week, huh? <laughs> like I tried other ones, huh? Yeah, black was cool. Big dick was great. Couldn't do shit with my hair. Just saying, man. We all got to live together. Might as well love each other together and laugh together, you know? I can't stand racism. You can't say shit, huh? You can't say nothing. You know, the only per people that don't get mad about racism is Asians. Because they own everything, huh? And we have no idea they own everything. 
You show up in an apartment and you're late on your rent and the white guy rented it to you. You're like, oh, I'm sorry, sir, I'll be late. And the Asian guy behind you, no, you pay her now. <laughs> you a bullshit. I call my Armenian friend. He's a liquor of the dick of the bitch. I know he's a liquor of something. <laughs> it's hard being Mexican, though, huh? They're fucking, it's hard being every race, I guess, but... But it's hard being Mexican. You gotta let a lot of shit go. You don't want to let go, huh? Like when your cousin borrows your car and doesn't tell you he doesn't have a license. <laughs> fucking jealousy, huh? We, we are jealous fucking race, dude. I don't want to make the money I make because fucking my sister. Oh, there he goes again. Fucking rich bastard, puto, fucking piece of shit. Fucking homeowner. Like, like that's a fucking diss, huh? Like, that's fucking shit, huh? Fuck you, you homeowner with no car payment. <laughs> Say something that's going to hurt me. Shit, I got drunk and left at Disneyland. That hurts. Remember when Mickey had to drive you home, Dick? You're a fucking loser. Say that shit. <laughs> Don't say homeowner, fucking IRA, fucking retirement program. Fuck you. I know that's the one thing Mexicans we don't do. We got to work on, all right? We got to work on that shit. We need to fucking have a retirement plan. When we die, only thing we fucking inherit is the lease. <laughs> Your mom died on oh, me. I, we, I guess so we got the lease, eh? <laughs> no, it's locked in, 2300 a month, eh? White people die, they fucking get houses and cars and art. We get bills. Yeah, art, like fucking paintings. Look, oh my God, look at oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Grandpa died, I got those chiffon. All we get is fucking homie dolls. <laughs> All happy, huh? A fucking car that's not restored, that he's planning on restoring since 1986. And it's not even a cool car, like an Impala, like a fucking Regal. Fucking Cutlass. Huh, you've been there. Every, all of our dads have said, one day, me and I'm gonna cruise with you in this shit. Doesn't it need tires, Dad? The fuck? I know I do this for a living. Don't try it at home, right? <laughs> fuck it. This place has more TVs than the fucking. The fuck am I pointing at myself for? I fucking hate that picture. They have you take pictures for shows you do, and I'm. I did like 50 poses. The, the coolest one was like, I'm like. Guess what they found? No, I, actually, I like that picture. You know why? Because when I die, I'm going to put that over my, 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 you know, the funeral, I'm going to put that over my fucking casket. So everybody did me wrong, I'm going to think I'm looking at you. Tio Veto, you owe me money. Fuck, I, I, I'm on the real. I, I can't think of any race I'd rather be than fucking Latino. I, I can't. I, I don't want to be white. I really don't. They have problems, you know why? Because they're not even racist, but everybody calls them racist. Yeah. Right, ain't that the truth? Like, like you know, I, I have a black friend. Why do you say I have a black friend for, motherfucker? <laughs> Don't want to be Asian. I like my big dick. <laughs> Don't, what, let's see, what the fuck? You're at the wrong club, loca. <laughs> the fuck, let's see it. And when you're with the man too, what the fuck is wrong with you? Come on, it's grown up place. Look at there's nice places. Look at the, they have coasters. Fuck. <laughs> Act proper, loca. And let me see your dick. What the fuck? You can see a dick anytime you want to. You're a woman, all right? Go to Denny's right now. You can see two dicks. The moon's over my slammy. Relax, all right? <laughs> Just have their fucking, the Mexican fucking problems we have. We don't see them as problems, huh? Like the accident kid. Look at, I see a white guy right here. I don't want to look at him because he'll freak out and call the police and we'll all get DUIs. They don't understand what an accident kid is. No, it's not like when you fuck a girl and the kids. No, the accident kid, your brother's 38, your sister's 34, and you're nine. That's the fucking accident kid. And they don't even know our scheme, huh? White people don't know our scheme. We have a fucking scheme, dude. 
We fucking get pregnant when we're 15. Then we meet the person we really like, but now we got a babysitter? <laughs> Who's watching him? My 16-year-old son. <laughs> fucking condoms. Who want to fill that bitch? To me, condoms are fucking degrading to women. They are. Like, oh, I'm going to put a condom out. Why? You think I'm dirty? Like I fuck around? Where you been, stupid? I still want to have a kid. Why? You don't want a kid looking like me? My birth control. That's fucking funny, birth control. You got to learn how to pull out and go to the left. No, when you're Mexican, you pull out and go to the left. If you're white, you can just pull out. But Mexicans, you just pull out, the fucking sperm will jump in the vagina. (laughs) Fuck you, I'm going to be somebody. (laughs) Fucking white people, their sperm is like fucking the way they work. They get lazy. That's why they don't have as many kids as we do. They fucking, uh, and then they're like, I'm tired. I'm just going to go to sleep right here. (laughs) Then they get pissed out. Black people have a lot of kids because their dick is so big, it's right next to the egg. <laughs> There's prayer come out, bah, shit, we already here, nigga. <laughs> I don't, <laughs> look, d- hey, l- l- if you fucking take anything that I said tonight to heart, you're fucking retarded, all right? <laughs> this is just all what I see in my life. I'm the only person, well, I'm the only profession. Comedians are the only people that can say what we see. You know what I'm saying? We can say, all the politicians have to say, oh, yeah, I'm right, we're, we're right. No, no, is that wrong? I was wrong. I say what I fucking see. Fuck that. I, fuck yeah. I talk that shit. You know what I get pissed off about? Fucking uh, checkpoints. Fuck you, you're going to catch me fair and square. You can't block me in, oh fuck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like they block you in, shit, I've been drinking on oh, me too, dick, what do you want me to do? Who drank more? I don't know, let's switch. Now fuck you. This is your mom's car. You know what I'm saying? You gotta catch me fair and square. Fuck the cops if they fucking catch me, block me in. Can you imagine how many people would be caught if they just walked into our fucking houses right now? Fuck, we'd all be in jail, huh? And you know what would happen? All the labor work would be done, huh? We'd all be locked up. And what happened? Why isn't the house finished? Well, fucking Jorge and Beto and everybody's locked up. What happened? They did a checkpoint in this fucking apartment building. Are we recording this? I love that joke. You get my point? I mean, fuck, dude. I, I get mad about a bunch of shit. Oh, calm down, what the fuck? Aw, oh, shit. Like, I'm gonna talk about you right now. <laughs> he said, he's like, aw, oh, shit. Everybody relax, we're having a good time right now. In fucking empty ass place. I know, I thought I, I thought I was famous, apparently not, huh? I'm glad my sister ain't here. See, you ain't shit. Fucking my kids, too. Fucking clap if you have kids. <laughs> fucking kids, huh? That's like God saying, fuck you, huh? Cause, no, it is. You know why? Because sex feels great, huh? You're like, oh, yeah. And then, man, no. <laughs> kids, dude. Oh, if you, any, if you guys have any problems, my 17-year-old daughter knows everything. Just call her. <laughs> yeah, she knows fucking everything. I tell you, he's going to be president in 2032. <laughs> My ex-wife, dude, that fucking bitch. No, she's on. Oh, you know what? I don't know. Uh, she, nah, fuck that. She's a bitch. You know what she did? She's white. She's not Mexican. She's white. She called me, she called me an alcoholic. I'm like, nah, I'm a Mexican. There's a difference. <laughs> Alcoholics, you know, they fuck up their lives. Mexicans, we get drunk and we still go to work. Fuck you. I had a fucking Mexican nanny. 
that was fucked up. She was hung over. That bitch was like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, holding my kid. You remind me of grandma. <laughs> she get my point. See, some people are feeling me. You're not getting none of this shit. I'm watching you. If you don't get it, if you want your money back, I got you, but. <laughs> oh, you being Mexican is the greatest, dude. They just, you know, America don't understand us. They don't get it because we have like a different thought mentality. Especially about work. Work, we have a different mentality about work. Okay, I'll give an example, right? This is a true story. I took my cousin to work, right? And he fucking got out of the car, he walked over there, right? And the boss is all, Jorge, you're supposed to be here at 8. It's 8.10. My cousin looked right at him and go, you know what, bro? I was here at 7.50 yesterday. <laughs> I should even doubt, eh? Right? And white people are going, no, it's not the way it's supposed to work. <laughs> to me, that sounds right to me, right? He gave him the extra 10 minutes, he owed him. Fuck you. <laughs> Mexicans, we never quit a job. We just fuck around till we get fired. <laughs> Young man, white people give a two week notice. What the fuck is that about? Two weeks? Uh, two weeks? You're not going to see Bob. Bob's out of here in two weeks. I close all my accounts and I'm out of here. Fucking two weeks. Mexican, we just fuck around for two weeks till we get fired on. And your boss comes up to you. What's wrong with you, Jorge? You're not doing your job. You're showing up late. I don't want to work here no more. What? Well, why don't you give your two-week notice? What? You didn't notice for two weeks I didn't want to work here or what? <laughs> and when black people quit, they want everybody to know they quit, huh? Ah, uh, fuck this place! <laughs> fuck this! Fuck you! Fuck you! You ain't shit! I fucked you, bitch, in the break room. <laughs> and then they stand outside for half an hour. You going to this place? Tell him, Jamal said, fuck you! <laughs> shit. Fuck Taco Bell, I'm out! <laughs> <laughs> I don't lie up here, fuckers. I lie when I'm off stage. Like my girls, I worry. What do you mean? Oh, I'm honest up here, Dick. I let you know that, didn't I? <laughs> Fucking hater. Anyway, where you going, bro? <laughs> Just lost, eh? I'm trying to bet on a horse. <laughs> trying to find my way back to Monte. Can you give me a ride, eh? I fucking love Pomona, huh? When you're ghetto, you move to Pomona. That's what you do. When you're ghetto as fuck, I moved to Pomona for a minute. Fucking, I'm ghetto. Uh, Pomona? Okay, it sounds good. It's on the pamphlet. Ghetto? Pomona's here. <laughs> you know, I, I can't stand when I like, make a joke about a city and somebody goes, fuck you, eh? I'm fucking from here, stupid. Oh, you, you gonna help him out or what? I don't get it. I don't, it's okay, I don't make fun of people that have to take a shit. I mean, everybody has to take a shit, right? You know what? I can't stand taking a shit in public. I hate that. I, I, do I, am I homophobe or some shit like that? Or, do you like that? Do you hate that too? Or, fuck yeah, right at home, right? Fuck yeah, on your phone playing fucking Candy Crush or the fuck. I hate taking a shit in public. Fuck that shit. One time, oh my God, I went to Benihana for a birthday party, right? Dude, and I was eating seafood. That shit, I water shit that. I water wiggle my ass. Anyways, I'm fucking in there, right? And it fucking, it kept coming out. I'm like, fuck, I just want to shit. And, like, I couldn't go home. It was a birthday party. I'm getting up to go. Hey, we're going to see happy birthday. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll be right back. That shit shitting out. Fucking shit. I filled that bowl up. <laughs> Embarrassing because the, the fucking sound. And there's people out there. It was a Friday night. It was all packed. Not like this, but it was packed. <laughs> and it was loud. I'm like, fuck, I'm trying to shut my asshole. <laughs> and this cholo was outside washing his hands, right? I know the cholo is a fuck, eh? You okay, bro? 
Fucking courtesy flush, eh? I tried to shit that shit out quick and I walked out, right? And the cholo was out there inside the bathroom. He's like, hey, bro, don't try to lie. I see your shoes, eh? <laughs> I told you I don't lie up here. Ah, oh, but you lie wherever you are at. Fuck yeah, you have to lie. You know who can't lie? My fucking kids. They're the worst liars on the planet. They're best liars when they need to lie for themselves. But when you need to lie for the fuck, my daughter, right? Fucking driving around, she's not in the car seat. We got pulled over. No, she's cool, she's six. I'm four. <laughs> Learn how to lie, you little shit. <laughs> my niggas is a cholo back there. Thank you, right? You don't know where my drugs are at. <laughs> See how they laughed after? <laughs> it's a fun show. Where are you going, bro? You walk right through the front, bro. You go walk around the back, bro. I just, bro, you're a big vato. I can see you, dog. I'm not afraid of you. Fuck you, dog. I got a stage. You got to climb something. <laughs> oh, come on. We're having fun here. Nobody's going to see this shit. Well, you got to pee right now? You're like fucking holding it and shit or what? Want me to down this and you can pee in this? Or you... That's some Mexican ghetto shit right there, huh? Fuck, I remember I was driving home from fucking Palm Springs one time and I pulled in a fucking Morongo because I had to take a piss and the bathroom was locked and I peed in the fucking corner and this fucking rent a cop pulled up. What are you doing? Fucking peeing, dick. Disgusting. Find a bathroom. I did. It's locked. You're disgusting. You just get out of here. You're disgusting because he couldn't do shit to me because he doesn't have a real badge. Security guards, and my, look, you're not a fucking cop if you wash the badge with your shirt. <laughs> like he never peed before in public, huh? Fuck yeah, I've seen women pee in fucking public. That's the funniest shit than us. We just whip it out and go, hey bro, that fucking chick was hot tonight. You chicks have your fucking dress up and your fucking shit like right here, trying to guide your way out. What? Are you trying to help my joke stick or what? <laughs> Fucking yoga, dog. Like any Mexican we know does yoga. Somebody has fucking <laughs> got direct TV. I, I heard yoga, but I'm gonna yell that out. What do you think, though? I don't know. You're back, bro. Fucking scared the fuck out of me, dog. Don't get mad at me, dog. Why? It's not fluffy friendly, bro. What's that? This place is not fluffy friendly. <laughs> oh, it's not like big dude friendly? Yeah. <laughs> Nothing really <laughs> is, bro. <laughs> hey, we were taking a plane flight with those little fucking toilets. You wouldn't fit in that shit. <laughs> no, bro, you're a big guy. Be honest. Fuck yeah, I love big guys. Be honest. I can't stand. You know what happened to me? It's all the food that I ate, and it's their fault. Fuck no. Fucking your fault. You ate it. You know what I'm saying? If a girl has herpes and I fucked it, nah, it ain't my fault. Oh, fuck. Somebody admit. Oh, no. Don't say that, dick. I want the new chick. Planned Parenthood. To me, that's hilarious, that phrase, huh? Planned Parenthood. Fucking, if you planned it, you wouldn't be there. You'd be at Kaiser. And if she's pregnant, fuck, it's permanente. Okay, some people, are, this is funny, this crowd is fucking hilarious. If you guys get it, you guys don't. You don't see what I see, I can see everybody here like fucking, oh fuck, he's running, what the fuck kind of shit? What are you, what are you running for? You had to take a mad shit, huh? Why did he run? He went time out. Like, I gotta wait for him to come back. <laughs> Take the Dodger game, loco. Fuck, I gotta move on. <laughs> you know what's funny? This place is really nice, but the fucking setup is ghetto as fuck, huh? This shit looks like a quinceanera fucking picture site, huh? There's more cords up here than anything. This shit.
Don't sweat, I'm almost done, big guy, relax. I gotta do another show, a classy show. No, I'm just kidding. I'm going home watching Netflix. Fucking Dateline, I watch Dateline. You guys watch Dateline and shit? Fucking love that shit, huh? You like that shit or what? Me too, every fucking dumb criminal thinks they can get away with it, huh? Fucking stupid motherfuckers out there. White people are the worst murderers on the planet. Are you white, bro? <laughs> because don't try and murder, you guys suck at it. No, you are the worst murderers on the fucking planet. First of all, don't make notes. Your chick's dead, they check your computer. Kill Cheryl. Dig hole, bite rope. You gotta be like Mexicans when you wanna kill somebody. You know what I'm saying? You fucking walk and you stab and you go to the fucking quinceanera. You got 4,000 cousins. He was here all night, eh? All night, eh? He brought the cake, eh? Black people, the ba ba Then they go to the nightclub. We is here all night, nigga. Shit, I got stamped. It's there. White people cannot murder. What's, what's that one guy? Fucking, what's his name? Uh, uh, Scott Patterson or Peter? Yeah, that motherfucker. What a dumbass. He kills his bitch, puts her in the ocean, and said he went fishing. <laughs> Fucking retard. When you kill your bitch and put her in the ocean, say you went hunting. He's in the boat with the police. I was fishing. Blah, blah, blah. There she is. Stupid fuck. Right? Mexicans, we know how to stab somebody and leave. You know how we know how to stick a kidney in a fucking liver. And, and you know why we drink a lot? That's why Cholos aim for the liver and the kidney. Because they're already fucked up as it is. Like, oh, and a knife on the end? Fuck. Put your mouth on that shit, dude. Cause I'm, I'm divorced. Anybody divorced here? Divorced women? Divorced women? Where you at? Okay, I gotta be with you. Cause odds are you took half your husband's shit. My ex-wife took half my shit, so together we'll have whole shit again. That's my e-harmony. What's up, bitch? You got couches? I got a big ass TV. Dude, my, my ex-wife, she's a... She, uh, uh, just thinking about her, fucking, I want to stab myself. <laughs> Dude, she had a. F Do you have a good lawyer? Do you have a good lawyer? She, I had the worst lawyer, Tamien. Fucking, I, I hired a Mexican lawyer. Okay, there's some things you let Mexicans do. Tile. <laughs> Fix your brakes. <laughs> lawyer, no. Learn that shit the hard way. <laughs> fucking walked into court. There's her lawyer, fucking white boy Armani suit. I specialize in divorce. There's my lawyer with fucking tres manos on and shit. <laughs> and he's uh, I do DUI and immigration también. <laughs> Shittiest lawyer on the fucking planet. Got me my kids half the time. What the fuck? I want her every other weekend like my friends got. Now I gotta watch them all the time and shit. And they say the same thing when they come to my house, the same shit. Dad, we're hungry. We're hungry. Well, so am I. Your mom took the refrigerator. That's why I watch that Dateline shit, that fucking Dateline. I trip out when the husband kills the ex-wife. I never kill my ex-wife. Now I gotta watch my kids all the time? I don't want nothing to happen to that bitch. I send her as vitamins. <laughs> I got scared because I had a woman judge. That's scary shit when you have a woman judge. You know why it's scary? Because of fucking cycle. The period. Fuck yeah. It, you know why I I'm going to make a rule, right? When they have a woman judge, they have to put a, like, a red dot behind her bench to let us know that she might be ragging it and you're fucked. Uh, I want to reschedule, ma'am. Oh, okay. It's, it, it's March 10th. We have April 10th. No, can I get like April 21st? 
You know what? I want to appreciate everybody for coming out tonight. You guys have been an awesome crowd. My name is Jeff Garcia. Thank you very, very much. Good night.